Okay. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh. Holy cow. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this, this is, is it. You. Bring your elbows down a little bit. Oh. I don't do it that good though. Oh. <laughs> That feels nice. Yeah. You gotta try that. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on up there to YouTube land? Today we are here with the one and only Paige Van Zandt. She's gonna be headlining BKFC. Make sure you go subscribe. They're not doing a pay-per-view thing right now. You subscribe, it's super cheap. You can watch these girls get down. You're fighting Rachel. Rachel Ostevich. That's right, so it's, yeah. uh, it's a rematch, yeah? Rematch, I beat her once in the UFC and I'm gonna beat her at Bare Knuckle Boxing. Dang, just to show <laughs> the, uh, the level of difference between multiple martial arts. So she has to, um, Apparently show the superiority in every aspect. <laughs> so she already out grappled her, kind of beat her up on the ground, and so now she's saying, well, let's let's box bare knuckle, and she's gonna have to put it on her now. So uh, she's getting ready for, for her fight. She's about a week and a half out. We're gonna do a little mm -hmm. tune-up on her, make sure everything's moving well, make sure the machine is running. Uh, make sure you guys go over and check out their YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it below. So what's the name of it? A Kick-Ass Love Story. It's about my husband and I both being professional fighters and our life being in love. And so it's like a vlog series. Vlog right? series, yeah. So if you want to see the behind the scenes action, that's where it's going to be. Yep. And then social media is all just your name. Paige Van Zandt. That's it. Everywhere. Everywhere. So if you're not following already, make sure you're doing that. Um, so what are we working on today? Your neck's a little tight. Neck's tight. My shoulder is uh, acting up more just sore. And then general recovery would be great. Okay. And you do cupping? I do cupping, sometimes? yep. Okay, cool. It was either that or she got in a fight with an octopus. So I couldn't tell. So one, one of the two. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she's still here, so they must have had calamari for dinner. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so make sure you guys subscribe to their channel, check it out, and we're gonna rock and roll. So Paige, what got you into martial arts? What started your path down to both MMA and now over to boxing? Um, oof, hold on, wow, okay. Um, <laughs> I started training when I was 15, my dad. And what were you training? I went straight into MMA. I'm like one wow. of those rare people who went straight into MMA. Yeah, that's tender. I didn't have like a background. Wasn't like Taekwondo or karate or anything like that? No. Okay. Did you wrestle yeah. in high school? I did not. I was a Straight cheerleader MMA. and then I ran cross country. Wow. Yeah, so my cardio is really good. I've always had really good cardio. Okay. Oh, that's tight. And that was in Oregon, you, you started training MMA? Yep. Okay. Oh no, actually I started training in Nevada. Nevada? Nevada, yeah. And was that at one of the big gyms or? No, okay, well, kind of. So, my dad is a huge MMA and a UFC fan. And if you know Ken Shamrock, mm -hmm. a legend, he was my very first MMA coach wow. ever. My very first. And I walked into the gym, and there's this guy, and he's like huge and ripped. And he's like, if you're not a, if you're a P U S S Y, get off the mat and like yelling at everybody. And I was like, who is this guy? Oh, why does he look? Love himself so much. And then I realized who he was. <laughs> I was like, oh, I get it now. You're like, oh, he's a UFC legend, WWE yep. champion. Legend. Yeah. Founder of the Lion's Den. Yep, really big deal. So my yeah. very first coach was Ken Shamrock at the Lion's Den. Okay, so did he have, did he put you through those like crazy workouts that they said they like, uh, no, I like feel initiation like workouts where he, they try to kill everybody? He toned it down when I was there, but oh, oh my gosh. Ugh. That's tight. So was the goal always to, to you know compete at the highest level? Is that were, were you looking to be a professional or were you just Absolutely doing it to, not. to work out? Absolutely not. So I was just doing it to work out, and then I went to college when I was uh, sixteen. So oh. I was just doing MMA for fun while I was going to college, and were you then just a, a, a extremely talented like student or no? I went to college at sixteen. Yeah, I, te I tested into an early college program. Okay, so, so I got college. So she's actually really smart. So if you guys think the blonde hair is uh, <laughs> yeah. Watch Which yourself. is crazy, I choose to get punched in the head, but I've got some extra brain cells to lose, so. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, college is 16, and then uh, I got offered a fight at 18, and I was like, yeah, I might as well, it sounds fun. I took the fight, I won in like 40 seconds. Whoa. Which was awesome, I was a, I slammed her, and I had so much fun, and then I got offered a pro fight, and they were gonna give me $200 to show up, $800 to win, and I was like, you know what? I need this money. I need it for my college tuition books. And I was like, I'm going pro. And I might as well just take the money. I thought it would be a one-off. And, oh, oh, okay. I thought it would be a one-off. Um, 
fight and I could just pay for like that semester of books and I ended up winning and then I was a pro fighter Wow! and I was like all right I guess I'm doing this now and I got a lot of attention really fast and had one yeah one amateur fight went straight pro at 18 and then I got contacted by the UFC by the time I was 19. So how many fights had you fought before you signed the UFC? Um let's see four. Wow. I had one amateur fight and three pro fights and then I got the call from Dana White saying that he wanted me to be on the Ultimate Fighter and they were opening up my division the strawweight division in the UFC and so he was like you're you're on the cast you're gonna be one of the 16 or so that are gonna be on the Ultimate Fighter and then unfortunately I was only 19 at the time so I wasn't allowed to compete um. on the Ultimate Fighter but it worked in my favor. I don't know that I would have liked yeah. it. Yeah, I've heard. I heard it was kind of difficult. That was a that was a pretty catty season. You know, sixteen girls locked in a yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of drama in there. We had quite a few of the of the girls that were on that cast fought out of the gym. Okay, we yeah. Heard some stories too. Heard the same thing. Yeah. Right? So you probably dodged a blow now. Actually, I think so. And then so I I just had to sit and wait for the Ultimate Fighter to film, and then I actually fought my first UFC fight at twenty. Wow. Yeah. Is that a record? I don't think so. No. I feel like now there has been maybe a guy that, that was out of China who was 18. Okay. I, you can't quote me on that. Can though. you pronounce his name? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's Maybe. been younger people now. Okay. Oh. That's cool. And so you started picking up striking along ah. with grappling and everything at the same time. So it wasn't, so that was always just part of your like regular training regimen is that you would have striking classes. And yep. So, and I, I mean, I went straight into MMA, but striking was always my passion. I, I love striking and more than anything, I like Muay Thai and kickboxing. Right. It's would probably be my absolute favorite, but you kind of evolve as you go. You evolve with the sport. Sure. I was going to say most most female fighters that I know, mm -hmm. maybe it's the dexterity or, or whatever it is, but they really enjoy the kick game. Yes. Um, I don't know what it is, but yeah, I love kickboxing. And I was I wondering that. Was, maybe because they're so flexible, they can jump around and actually throw those kicks that I can't throw. Or, yep. You know, right? You're like, how did you yeah. throw a switch kick? How did yeah. that work? You're like, maybe I'll just take you down and ground a pound. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like less effort. And what's funny is because I actually have a dance background, so I grew up before I did MMA, I danced for like 12 years. That's right, you were on uh, Dancing with the Stars, I was on Dancing right? with the Stars later in life. Yeah, my, my parents owned a dance studio. So I feel like because I did point and ballet, my feet- So you had, wait, wait, wait. So you had a dancing background before you went on Dancing with the Stars? I did. That's cheating. No, it's not. <laughs> Most people do have a dance background. Before I Dancing with the Stars? I swear. Really? I think so. Didn't Evander yeah. do it? Yeah. Yes, he yeah. did. Yeah. Did he have a dancing background? You were trying to dance with him. He's I, an athlete. I was. He can move. He, he wasn't yeah, impressed by my dance moves. I was doing the dice thing too much, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I feel like because I did ballet and point for so long, my toes are like, uh, I have no sensation in my feet at really? all. I can take... So you can kick people. I can kick hurt. people and I don't feel a thing. Wow. So how was Dancing with the Stars? Was that like a like an eight week process or that did they film it all in one shot? Time. I think I lived in LA for like three months on that show. Okay. And uh, honestly it was, the so everyone, I think I'm the only contestant ever to go on Dancing with the Stars and gain weight. All these other people talk about how like the, reg the workout is so hard and how they end up losing weight and getting grape shape. But like the training for me wasn't hard, was hard as like, the right. filming process okay and the extra like i had to do interviews every day and doing oh yeah i want to do interviews the la stuff <laughs> the like la stuff i guess where you always felt like you had to be on 24 7. Mm. so that 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 life is more mentally fatiguing than actually training i think so because i mean you're used to working out three or four times a day i'm assuming i work out yeah three times a day and extremely mm. rigor rigorous workouts so do, do you get to eat whatever you want then Within reason, yet yeah, yes and no. Yes My and husband, no. well, yeah. Do I? How? What do I eat? Like honey? Uh, you tend to enjoy <laughs> enjoy food. Naughty foods, yeah. <laughs> naughty food. food. Yeah. I enjoy naughty food. Yeah. Uh, yes, I am a food connoisseur. Sweets. Sweets, yeah, more savory though. Okay. She likes fast food. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who does? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Chick Fil A. That's not fast food. Like Taco Bell oh. too. Chick-fil-A's bomb. Chick-fil-A's yeah. so good. Okay, so so do you eat your, do you eat your pizza regular or do you fold it in half like this guy does? 
I will not fold pizza in half. I'm with you. I no think it's way. blasphemy. It is. You but got pizza folder, Scotty? Pizza folder. Oh, it's pizza. Folder. Pineapple yeah. belongs on pizza, Fold though. It. Pineapple belongs on pineapple pizza? Pineapple belongs on pizza. Oh, the Always. The comments are going to rage on yeah. you now. You just, you just made so many people mad. Yeah. Pineapple 100% bo- and ranch. Pineapple, and then you dip it in ranch, and it's like... Just perfect. pineapple or pineapple and ham? Well, pineapple well pineapple and ham, You, I mean... Pineapple any, and anything. Any pineapple, pineapple and anything. Any pizza, you put yeah, pineapple on it, and it's, it's better. What about ketchup on pizza? Ew, no. Okay, That's a enough. sin. Oh, oh, and I'm that's, the sitter. Pineapple school. Wow. I can't, that's I can't, not I can't okay. No, we went to Portugal and we saw a pe- Ooh, pizza on the menu. Oh, and it was. Uh, it was bon- <laughs> Yeah, it was. Um, Polka dot? No. They bake it with ooh, bananas. Uh, <laughs> Macro. Oh, no. Uh, bananas on ooh. pizza. Bana- banana pizza? Banana, banana pizza. Banana and it was pizza. baked with the banana. Like so it was like banana pizza. bread pizza. No, like a no, pizza. Little slices of banana. Little on slices pizza. of banana yeah. on the pizza and then cheese on Did top. Did you try it? We, yeah, ordered, we ordered it. it. Yeah. It was disgusting. Uh, okay. It told us it was the one to get. Yeah, that shoulder's off a little bit. Yeah, this one's sore. And when it's like it didn't injure or anything. Um, but when I, I keep waking up in the middle of the night and it's like cramped. Scoot forward just a little bit. So I'm gonna have you do is put your hand on your hip, and then you're gonna pull that elbow straight back. Backwards. Pull, 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 pull. All right, pull. I'm gonna hook right there, pull real hard. Right. Let's try this side just to see what the baseline is. Pull. pull. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Nice. Yeah, I didn't like injure my shoulder or anything, but. It just feels tight in the front? Well, I wake up and it's like an extreme pain. Are you like one of these sleepers? Yeah, but this is new. Okay. So that's thinner. Compared to that side, yeah. That's fine. Ah! Yeah, shoulders off a little bit. Okay, take that hand and reach down towards your foot. Oh. And shrug. And reach down. And oh. shrug. And you're from what part of what part of Oregon? I'm from uh, Easter. Super small town. I'm from. Oh, Dayton, Oregon. Is that on the other side of the Cascades? It's, uh, no. No. Uh, it's not, I don't remember. It's not in the valley. Mm, that's a good question. I don't know where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> kind of port, the, a little bit outside of Portland. Like, port, an hour away from Portland. Yeah, yeah. An hour closer to the beach. Okay, yeah. so west. Yeah. You go to Portland, Straws are illegal, but cocaine, not illegal. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Meth, <laughs> meth heroin, cocaine, go for it. Portland. Str- don't you dare ask for a straw. Uncle Chael, Cupid. Yep. Who knew? Not only is he a talker, you know, he's yeah. a fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's actually matchmaker. a matchmaker behind the scenes. Tell him about our first date where he put the money in your bag. Yeah, I was... I was like, I legitimately probably had like $50 in my bank account and it was after training. He and I trained hard together and, and he knew we were going on a date after and he's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to, are you going to offer to pay? Her family was in town. I was meeting her parents, parents for the first going. time and he's like, what are you going to do? Are you going to pay or, or do you think her dad will be offended? Are you going to let him pay? You know, he's like getting in my head and, uh. Stressing and you out. It's stressing me out. And then after practice, <laughs> I had left and he texted me. He's like, hey, buddy, check in your bag. Uh, Uncle Chael is paying for dinner tonight. And he had put. He put like $300 in his bag. All right. I think so, yeah. Uncle just, Chael. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. What do you know? So he's despite just... what everyone thinks, Uncle Chael is a very good guy. He's not that he's bad of a guy. guy. No, he's a really yeah. good guy. He's so a he's... sweetheart. He calls himself the bad guy. Yeah. yeah. It's a facade. He's a sweetheart. Yeah, I've met him a couple times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Although from you, yeah, you guys, yeah. Are you, are you a Chael fan or? I don't know if you can. With sure. the John Jones, okay, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking of the John Jones. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the of that rivalry. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, John's wrestling coach, Izzy Martinez. You know, he knows Chell pretty well. And yeah. Then, mm-hmm. yeah. When I've talked to him in person, he's been a decent enough guy. It's so. a small, yeah, small. Uh, the the internet drama. Yeah. I'm Team Jones. Yeah, you got it. Chell. Yeah, stick to your. Bye, bro.
Uh, yeah. I don't need to guy. put you on the spot like that. <laughs> <laughs> Say love you, right? Yeah. I, I mean, they're probably 1 1, right? Like, so John got the one in the cage mm -hmm. and Chell wins on Twitter. Yeah. You know? So funny. Chell gets him on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you're like, I ripped off your toe. I ripped off your toe. John, John got the fight. Oh, man. Got to sell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, these kids. Aww. That's right. That's right. Yeah, right he's there. he'll collect royalties on. someday. Oh. There we go. Mm. And Felicia there? Yep. Your toes are wiggling, so it must be. No, you wiggle your toes to not pay attention to your neck. Oh, okay. She's not wrong. Really? It helps you relax. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why, did two, why have you never told me that? So, so your brain can only consciously do one thing at a time. So yeah. if you're physically like focusing on doing something else, you can't resist in other places. Oh. Well. So I wiggle my toes. Yeah. So usually I'll be like, uh, pick up your right index finger, and as soon as I do that, then I get them. Yeah. It just helps me. If somebody doesn't know how to relax. Yeah. This isn't my first rodeo. There we go. Where should we first? Can you just put some weight on the table right yeah. here? Yeah. You need my big muscles. You got to use your muscles now. <laughs> Come on, if you don't use your muscles now, yeah. then you'll turn into a vegan when you turn 64. <laughs> wow. I'm Detective John Kimball. <laughs> Who is your daddy? What does he do? <laughs> You, you're too good at that, buddy. <laughs> See, I missed my calling in life. I should have been an yeah, impersonator. Should, yeah. And then, think super relaxing thoughts? Good. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Good job, How's that feel? So good. You thought that on the center? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> I do that one at home. I don't get that quite that crack. You don't quite do get that. that. <laughs> there's a. I think I'm doing it right. There's well, for one. There's a, a learned yeah. positioning. There's Two. There's a there's a a hand speed muscle twitch that you build up over time, just like anything else. Yeah. 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 Right, it's like me trying to pop a jab. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a while to really build that neural. Yeah, the muscle memory. Yeah, the neural connection yeah. to where it's like instinctive. Yeah. For for me, it's like. Yeah. Like I'm having a spasm. So when I on the plane, I just stopped it. I'm like yeah. practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crush my dreams, babe. When yeah. Dale, when Dale grew up and saw crack on YouTube. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah, I make him adjust me almost, or, well not adjust me, he pops my back every day. He mobilizes her <laughs> yeah. in a non-medical way. Yeah. In a totally non-licensed room. Just, I, just relax it, it's, it's actually a, a, an act of love. It is. Hey, we learned it on TikTok, so it's I mean, gotta it's, be true. I mean, it's, it's just part of their like Kama Sutra routine. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the, I don't think it's good for her, but she if, if the boards always wants to do it, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, let's cross your arms like that. So we're gonna bring you to there. Come back to right there. Big deep breath in. Uh, yep. That's nice. So I want you to push this hand towards that window. This way? Yep. Yeah. So like a robot dance move. And then relax it. Oh. There it was. And then push again. And relax. Good. And two more times. And one more time. So now that you've been really focusing on your boxing, has that changed? Like you're obviously you're not doing grappling during the day. Yep. So what does your workout routine look like now? Now all boxing and running. And I feel like I can work so much harder now. Um, oh, wrestling just gets you so sore. Right. You, you feel less beat up during training? I feel less, yeah, physically beat up and like, like damaged. Like yeah. neck tired and yep. ribs and all the stuff we were talking about with Austin. Yep. So so obviously you probably don't have as many sessions per day then, right? Um, or are you still doing the same amount? Still doing kind of the same amount, but... One is more of a cardio, is that what? Yeah, it? one's more just cardio, except for this coach, Pedro Diaz, kills us. Like our practices aren't just an hour of technique, it's like two hours of torture. Wow. It's insane. 
and in Florida, there's like no AC in the boxing gym, so it was 102 during training day. Huh, and human. And human. He was just as well. <laughs> Not Alaska anymore. Uh, yeah. But what's crazy is like boxers, he implements like running so much that I can definitely like see my body changing and like my upper body getting stronger. And hmm. Are you still doing strength conditioning? Not really, no. uh -uh. But he does stuff for it. We lift weights and ooh. We lift weights there and do all kinds of like boxer <laughs> type conditioning. Okay. And do you do like specific neck strengthening? Do you guys do like uh, yeah, all kinds of like stuff. weighted neck bridges mm -hmm. and stuff? I always found the boxing like the one where they put the they either put a towel yeah. or they put the one on top. Uh huh. I always found that very interesting, like how that is used so much in boxing and so little in MMA. Oh. There it was. Yo, what do you think good for you or or? Is it okay for your neck? Yeah, probably. Okay, cool. I think having a stronger neck is obviously better. Yeah. And I would yeah. rather see fighters do that than like just bridging. Yeah. Okay. Where mm -hmm. it's a closed chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah that makes sense. You know, the one that you put on your head and just turn. Yeah, the iron neck? That's okay too. Okay, I use that. Yeah. That's how I was gonna <laughs> yeah. get to this. I, I like that one too. <laughs> she makes fun of me about it. Yeah. yeah. You look crazy. What I think it's good for is rotational resistance, which yeah. is hard to recreate by either holding a towel in your teeth for or sure. by putting one yeah. in your head. So I think those are super like useful in creating extension because obviously yeah. if you're in a clinch, you need to be strong to, to pull back out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And having strong neck muscles, of course, protects your brain, keeps you from rotational force, which makes you less prone to KOs. Yeah, cool. So it, it is really important to be strong, but also not doing it in a way that's grindy that gives you arthritis in your neck. Uh, so, that's that's cool. a, yeah. so we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna have you squeeze real hard with your legs. Good. Oh. What was that? I've <laughs> <laughs> never seen that one. It was, uh, oh. it was a set of mine. What the hell was that? That's crazy. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Both are I can do that one. I can do that <laughs> yeah. one. I'm going to squeeze your legs together, but I'm going to try to pull them apart. <laughs> hey, whatever you guys do, that's on you. I'm, I'm Ben and I'm not in it. We're married. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you broke your arm, right? Oh yeah, lots. Lots? Uh, three, or, three or four times, yeah. <sighs> yep. Oh, <laughs> that one oh, really God. went for it. <laughs> bring it back this way. What's that face you got over there? That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I always love with the onlookers. They're like, they can't tell if they should be horrified or jealous. <laughs> They're like, yeah. Right. Oh my, yeah. easy. Easy peasy. And so tell me about, so obviously you've broken your arms. Have you broken your hand before too? No, actually. So this knuckle looks a little crazy, but I don't think I broke it. No? And then, yeah, the only thing, I've broken my arm three times. And so you had a, was it a five round fight, your first one? No, I BKC? broke it. The, oh, the, yeah, my bare knuckle fights are all five rounds. How was that on your hands compared to MMA gloves? Which is crazy, like, ah. Uh, holy cow. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is okay or the bare knuckles okay? The, the bare knuckles okay. Okay. This might hurt worse than bare knuckle boxing. Really? Just because yeah. your adrenaline's going and everything? or I think so, yeah. No, I got lucky. I didn't break my hands or anything. But a lot of people don't. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of them. I think no. a lot of people were expecting that early yeah. on and I haven't seen... Obviously, I've seen more reports out of it with gloves. Yes. In particular with women in MMA. So early on, and this has kind of changed over time, yep. a lot of the strike um, instruction, you were seeing a lot of this overhand, overhand turn. Right, and that's so bad for your hands. Right, that's to cover bad. kick distance. Yep. Because your punch is only here, but when you extend it out, you yeah. can cover more distance. And people kept, especially female fighters, kept breaking mm -hmm. thumb and here and here. Yep. That's how he broke, Austin broke his hand. He threw a really big overhand mm -hmm. right and shattered his thumb. Right, so you're not landing through your karate punch. Yeah, this is more like point style boxing where you're trying to like touch as many times as you can and then you don't have to hit someone very hard to sure. cut them open. And so it's more biomechanically correct. Yeah. So they're all lines, they're all, um, yep. force lines instead of looping. Looping and. Which is when stuff breaks. Yep. You know. Yep. Plus you're not catching kicks on your forearm either, I'm assuming. So, no. So that's a whole no different more. animal. Interesting, yeah, that, that, that yeah. makes sense. Because yeah, when and one of the crazy things we saw early on, you know, from some of our fighters is 
um, you know, there is a little sexism in even the medical that goes along with it because yeah. a couple of our fighters had broken their hands and they went to the surgeon and they're like, well, what else do you do? And they're like, what do you mean? I'm a professional athlete. Yeah. Cause they, they were hesitant to put the plates in. I'm like, no, they need surgery. And they were like, well, let's just let it be for, you know, five weeks. Mm -hmm. And so they did. And they went up for his punch, broke it again. Yep. So now we're out another six However weeks. However long. Yeah. That's right. with my arm too. It took me to find a few surgeons to be like, no, this is my career. I'm not doing anything else. Right. You got to fix it correctly. We got to like, well, then if they take it out and they, you have still have the holes from the screws and if they mm -hmm. don't let you heal from that and you go back out, it's still break weak again. and you could fall and break it again. And now yeah. you're back in the, the whole process. Yeah. yeah. And that, for whatever reason that, that care, and maybe it's because female fighters are, a lot of them are nicer and not as forceful with not the doctors. As, yeah. Um, but I've seen that a lot, unfortunately, for the, the you know, I'm not going to call it substandard care, but we're not treating them the same way we would be treating you know rampage or anderson or, no exactly uh, whereas yeah i go and i'm like oh i'm a professional fighter they're like oh well what else do you do yeah like no 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 this is my career like, like no no for real like, and i don't get like the long onset care it's more like have yeah. surgery see ya later yeah and, then, and it's not like the long where they check on me check on the healing process so, yeah do better doctors do better so let's take this hand Bye. here you're gonna go in and out okay so i'm gonna hook you right there and then go ahead and keep moving the arm. Oh my gosh. You can. And so they built this bare knuckle uh, vent around you. What's that like? And uh, you, you, you main evented a couple of fights in the UFC. I did, right? yeah. I think I had two main events in the UFC. Okay. Oh. Um, so, so what's that like from, from a pressure perspective? Like. Does that change the way you prepare at all? Does it feel like you not know, at all? Do you For feel me. the need to go out there and like over promote or you know, obviously you're a you're a pretty nice person. You don't feel the need to, to pick up the the Connorisms, I suppose, whichever yeah. you were in two thousand sixteen. I know. No, I just I feel like I know what I do and I know what I'm supposed to do. If I go out there and I just perform and fight the way I fight, then that's that's all I can do. It's the same pressure if I was the first fight on the card or the last. Okay. More fun actually fighting in the fight or having dance battles before the fight? Oh, way more fun fighting. Way more fun. Oh, that's tight. And I've seen you challenge a couple of girls to I dance have. battles. Yep. Wayne's. <laughs> is that fading? Yep, it is. That's crazy. Yeah, pretty much gone. Yeah, I went from like mega pain to not pain. Mega pain, the worst kind. <laughs> Go up and down like that. I'm gonna hook right there. So bring the elbow down and back oh. up. And we'll do about eight of those. Hey, you're next. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> He's like, actually, I'm feeling pretty good. I gotta yeah, go. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel good. <laughs> Cherry strawberry. So being down in Florida now, what's uh, what's y'all's favorite local cuisine? Maduro's or you pick it up some you of the paella what? or no Florida's got some real good Indian food like Indian from India not <laughs> like, like Indian not from indigenous. no from India yeah. okay so you're, so you're a curry fan curry fan yeah. Oh. yeah I like Steph but the restaurant stuff is you know not so manos <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing we gotta Ooh. learn our Spanish here oh. you're you're a twitcher yeah no, 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 but he games real hard. I game, yeah. yeah so I want to get better. Oh, but because I was waiting, I need to get better. I couldn't just. Oh, like, jump okay. On you gotta get your skills up. Yeah, I, I had to go get, on there. I had to get my skills up. No, I think. Yes. No, well, he's really good. At, you play all day. You better be good. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. I do not play all day. You play all day. <laughs> She's like, you better be good with all that time. Yeah. <laughs> Take that arm back. Turn your head that way. Keep reaching the arm back. Well, at least you play like grown up games. Yeah, exactly. I've exactly. been I've been stuck on Legend of Zelda for. <laughs> is for, is for a Call long of time. Duty a grown up game? The grown up I, version. I think it is. Actually, yeah. being in the military. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Somebody get some aloe vera for that burn. Yeah, oh, that was good. That was good. Yeah. I'd rather play the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather play the game. Keep going back with that. That's a, that's a valid point. You playing PS4? Xbox. Xbox. The, the new one, yeah, the new Xbox. But I, 
but I was gifted by our wonderful Keep manager, Malky. Yeah. He gifted me the okay. Xbox. Okay. So me and Malky are not friends anymore. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> It happened like that. Yeah. yeah. You stole my husband away from me. Yep. You okay, you back. I train too much or do I play too many games? Which one? You gotta pick one of well, them. Well, training makes you money. Gaming does not make you money. Welcome to being a husband. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Gaming doesn't make you money. <laughs> Maybe yes, just Twitch. wait. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. So start yeah. monetizing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's, that's your cue, bro. You have yeah. to join Twitch now. There's no, uh -huh. There's no excuses. There's no excuse. If you're going to be playing, there better be Fedia coming yeah. in. So. Yeah, but I have to be able to multi. I got to be able to play and speak to everyone at the same I'm not you quite there yet. You can. I'm you not can quite good enough yet. Yeah. yeah. Look, yeah. there's two people right here who said you can do it. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure. I just see two believers. Yeah. He took over a whole room in our in our house. <laughs> so, right here. Yep. So I'm gonna hook in right there. Right there. Oh, this, this is, the is it. Do. Bring your elbows down a little bit. Oh. I don't do it that good though. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> that feels nice. Yeah, that you gotta feels... try that. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I can like. That's good. Don't relax now. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. See how that shoulder feels. See if that feels looser. Oh yeah, it feels a lot looser. Uh huh. Neck. Yep. Good. Next, nice. Cool. You survived. I survived. Let's go. Let's go. You're up. And, up. <laughs> and uh, one more time, make sure you guys bare knuckle up to fight a championship. Yeah, check me out. Uh, I fight July twenty third. July twenty third. So yep. go over to the website, subscribe, tune in. There's gonna be fists flying, maybe blood flying. There will be blood. There will be blood. blood. Damn. There will be blood. Damn, she's. That cute face is saying there will be blood. There'll I mean, there's, there's conundrums in the head. You're like, what in the world did I just hear? <laughs> it's like with South Park when Mickey goes in there and starts beating up the Jonas Brothers. You're like, what is happening? What is going on? So make sure you guys tune in for that. Go check out their YouTube channel, uh, Kick Ass Love Story. So I said I'll put the link in the in the bio below. And then uh, yeah, we'll we'll be watching. Hopefully she gets that W. She's yep. pretty confident in it. We're pretty confident in it. Uh, Austin, how confident are you? I, I'm so confident. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super confident. <laughs> super confident. Super confident. Make sure you go follow him on Instagram too. We'll, we'll stick that link in there as well. And then, yeah, good luck. Thank you. This is awesome. <sighs> I feel good.